Hi, I'm Jamie from Learn, Play, Read, and I am so excited to talk to you today about process art and why it's important for toddlers and preschoolers. First, let's talk about what is it? Process art is actually a professional art movement. In fact, the Museum of Contemporary Art in LA says this quote, the means count for more than the end. So the same goes for kids. The actual process of creating is more important in process art than the end product. So for process art, it's about what the kids are doing to actually make the art rather than this beautiful masterpiece that looks exactly the way you plan for it to look. The process is more important than the product. That's process art for toddlers and preschoolers. So why is it important? It's really important for kids in developing their fine motor skills, all of that activity, painting, stickers, all that just strengthens those fingers and their pincher skills, which is wonderful for learning to write later on in school. It's also really important because it helps kids develop creativity and self-expression. They can explore and try new things and there's no right and no wrong and so they can just keep doing new ideas and they can learn from those and make mistakes and it's really good for their confidence. It's also good for developing math and science and literacy skills which is a bonus getting ready for school. So some tips for process art. My biggest tip is Say yes. If a child wants to use three colors that are going to mix and make brown, that's fine. Let them say yes. You wouldn't do that necessarily, but it's their art and they're going to learn that those three colors mix and make brown. And that's a learning experience and they're going to feel really, really proud of their artwork because they came up with the ideas, they created it, and they made it. Another tip I would have is remember it's not your artwork. So you might want eyes on a dinosaur that they make. They may not want eyes on the dinosaur. It's not up to you to come through and be like, well, let's just add some eyes here. Let them create. Another tip I would say is it's okay for the kids to walk away, work on a different activity, and then come back and work on their process art more. Um, that's great, actually, because there's no end product, so there's no finish. So those kids will keep improving their self-confidence and their creativity and their fine motor skills and exploring things like that. So some examples of process art. There's tons on the internet. Sometimes if you see some examples, if you go on Pinterest and search process art, some of them aren't actually process art. You can tell that it's process art if there's no certain finished product. So if the finished product is supposed to look a certain way, it's not actually process art. So some examples of actual process art would be something as simple as poster board from the dollar store and you just use markers. Let the kids just color, and you can color on the poster board every day for a week, and that's process art. Process art is trying new things, like maybe instead of painting on paper, maybe try painting on tin foil or cardboard or plastic wrap, or you could try painting with different paint brushes, spice it up, you could paint with plants, you could paint with cotton balls anything like that. You can also do it and let the kids stick them on a piece of paper. That's a collage and that's process art. They can keep adding as much as they want to it until they decide that it's finished. So to summarize, process art is about the act of creating the art rather than how the art turns out. There's lots of different benefits for kids, including self-confidence, creativity, fine motor skills, decision-making skills, things like that. There are tons of examples, but it's as simple as just using whatever you already have at home 
and just letting the kids create with no idea from you that's pushed on them. So that's process art. I hope you guys learned something. I'd love to hear what you guys are working on at home with your process art, so comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and get ready for our next video. It'll be next week. You can follow us on Instagram at learnplayread or visit us at learnplayread.com. Bye, guys.